This road sucks so much. I can't wait to move. All I'm doing is scraping down the fucking road. Oh! Welcome to today's vlog. How you doing? Just got here. The piston heads are getting ceramic coated. They're not coated yet. This oh, is they're not the coated. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the best stuff ever. So this is. No, I'm not spring. smelling it. No, I it's can fine. see it. No, you smell it then. No, he's got that on. I see strong. I'm not doing that. No, it's fine. It's seriously, it's fine. <laughs> then smell it. No. Look, no. No. Yeah, no, like, no, I'm not smelling it. Oh it's yeah. Great. Yep. You take a whip. Oh, it's. Oh, dude, it smells so good. Not falling for it. Nope. Get out of here. <laughs> Dang. It's a really mini air hose, huh? Yeah. Those are pretty good, bro. Super cool. All right, guys. So before we get to work today, we're actually going to Mexico real quick. Buddy Alex, he just hit 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna leave his channel in the description below. We're gonna go celebrate and do some burnouts with him. Um, I'm gonna film my burnout, but if you wanna see everyone else's burnouts, definitely check out his channel. And I don't know, to be honest, it's just an excuse for me to burn some more tires. And we got some brand new suckers on the right to Miata, and we gotta burn this clutch somehow. So let's go do a burnout. He's also gonna redeem himself after that Adam LZ burnout challenge. You know what? I think that burnout was awesome. I really do. I, I mean, I was scared that like cops were gonna come knocking on my door, even though they probably couldn't do anything because it's private property. But like, I was shaking in my boots, dude. So <laughs> for me, shaking in my boots, I think I did pretty damn good. You did do pretty good. Rant over. See you at the burnout, Mexico track, street thing, merch, giveaway, computer. You want my key? Sure. <laughs> Imagine if you did that, that would suck. I try to play a little joke to be funny, and good old Sam over here completely broke the whole assembly unit. What the hell, mate? I'm not gonna be able to shut my car off. Dude just touched it, right? Instantly just started falling apart. I'm telling you, he's my bad luck charm. What the heck? If I can't shut my car off, dude, it's your head. It's your head, mate. Like, what are you even doing right now? Do you Should know? I'm, you don't know. I just jumped the parts back in that fell out. Damn it! Oh no! What is that? Oh! oh roadkill. Ew! Roadkill. Damn it! All right, boys. Scrape life. You like that? I hate that. <laughs> Sam can never be a stance boy. For good reason, Chris. <laughs> People just do some massive burnout sound. So if you want to check out all the burnouts, go to Alex's channel right now, link in the description. Everyone go give him a big congrats on the 11,000K. Let's get him to 20 quick. Let's do it. Look at all these marks. <laughs> Alex the madman. Here, hold this. All right, guys, well, Alex is doing another one. I might as well, too. Man, just no 
fun. If you guys have an NA Miata, man, just remember, everything's about the fun. You can never not have fun in your NA. I mean, look, man, brain bang for life, baby. You know what I mean? Gotta love it. All right, guys, so now it's time to get to business. We're actually gonna start working right now. As you can see, I'm pretty good at juggling my balls by now. It's been four days. We're doing pretty good, but I just want to give a friendly reminder that we're doing a giveaway on our my old gaming PC. Um, we have some new bundles that just came out today. I'm gonna to put some pictures up right now. So if you guys want to do, so if you guys want to buy some merch, definitely go down in the description below. But we're gonna go pull some cars out right now. We're gonna go put the GSR engine in the Racer Civic. Wow, this is really hard. I just bought a unicycle. It's gonna be here on, it's gonna be here on Tuesday and I'm really excited because I want to learn how, I, I can already ride a unicycle pretty decent, but I want to learn how to juggle and go on the unicycle. Let's uh, bring some cards out. All right guys, so the GSR engine is back out. It is time for this baby to go in the Ricer Civic. Now I'm not gonna lie, it kinda kills me to say that like deep down inside, and I, I can't do this. I'm gonna tell you what I want to do, but I just have too many cars to do it right now. I would love to buy an EG hatch and throw this in today. Like I would, if I can find a nice clean EG right now that for the right price, I would literally go buy it today, put the B series in and we'd have a sick, Civic, but the Ricer Civic she's gonna do for now. Um, I kind of just want to break this engine in and everything like we're not gonna be doing anything ignorant with this like the B20 It was for laughs. It was for fun Like we just turboed it to see what it can do and she blew up this one bit more expensive Way cooler of an engine and it's just super clean and I just don't want to ruin this I did say that I wanted to rebuild the B20 But this was before I was actually spending all the money on the rice meat and going fully forged now I don't really see a purpose in doing that because I was literally just doing it for learning purposes And now we're gonna now we're doing it with the rice and Miata anyways So this engine is kind of junk to me and I figured since we were doing the gaming PC giveaway That you guys can get some cool parts out of this. So we're gonna take all four pistons out like usual We're gonna sign them um, put them on the website I'll do like a valve cover package with some stickers and stuff and just miscellaneous stuff like the lightweight flywheel Anything that I think is cool. We're gonna be putting on the website by the time this video is up so if you want that you can definitely just go to www.junkforless.net and any purchase you do get entered to win the gaming computer that will be announced this Friday And I'm really excited because we're gonna be playing together But anyways, we're gonna stop wasting time here first thing I want to do is I really want to clean up this wiring harness We got the VTEC solenoid right here. This is the plug But as you can see like it's kind of a stretch to actually plug this in so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna snip this I'm gonna extend it so we have some play in the wire so there's it's just not being tugged on when I was doing the OBD2 to OBD1 conversion I was kind of just throwing it together and this butt connector came off so we're gonna fix that we're gonna butt connector this we're gonna clean up all these wires electrical tape it hide all this stuff and just extend anything we really need and then tape this all back up make it look nice and then just tuck it away so we don't have to worry about anything so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do all of that stuff now and then I think we're just gonna be ready to be able to put it in I'm really excited all right boys well a few hours later the wiring harness is finally done um, this is my fully tuck ruddy harness uh, we got it all electrical taped all ready to go and everything and honestly it doesn't look the best But it definitely doesn't look the worst all the wires are just up tucked in So they're never gonna get in the way and everything is plugged in but this coolant temp right here man We cannot find this plug. I don't know if it got cut or what but we can't find it We can't figure out what color the wires are so we actually have a guy coming with a with an EK with a B18 in it as well So that's actually pretty convenient, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna just overlap all of this stuff right now because we are going to throw the GSR engine in right now. I'm super excited. I took my ghetto post mount off the B20 and I put it on the B18 just to make my life easier because God forbid if that was the wrong post mount then I'm gonna have to take this thing out again. It's not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna turn this thing around. We're gonna lower the Civic and now the engine's in the car. All right guys, so I should have time lapsed this because it literally took, I'm gonna say a minute and a half. I didn't time lapse it because last time it took us like over an hour because we had the wrong mounts and everything and nothing was working. But this thing is in. We just gotta put a bolt there. We gotta put a bolt there and then we just have to attach the post mount. But look at this thing, hell yeah. This is baller. So we got this guy, he's gonna give us a hand to find that coolant sensor, that plug. And hopefully we can find that because that's literally the last thing that we need to do for this harness just to just work But can we just take a second and I I know this car is a hunk of dog shit But like this engine man 
Looks so freaking good in here. So pumped. So turns out we were looking for that plug for literally like 20, 25 minutes and it doesn't even matter. So the, um, the wires for that plug are right here. One's green, one's black. And we actually don't have the plug. You just twist them together just so the fan is always running and that plug just doesn't matter whatsoever. So thankfully this harness is just ready to go. Everything is plugged in. Um, I just have to get uh, a gasket for my TPS right here. And then, I mean, we're gonna be pretty ready to go. I still need to get my bung welded for the oil pan and everything. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna tighten these entry mounts and stuff. We're gonna put the post mount in and just like run the harness in the firewall and stuff just to clean it up a little bit. All right, boys and girls. Well, the rice are sitting the GSR is in it and she is ready to roll well kind of we got the turbo manifold on and everything I have yet to put the up pipe on it get it because it doesn't go down it goes up uh, I figured out that I need to re-weld this because you can actually see um, can you where is it oh Oh, right there. Yeah, we need to weld right there because I guess when I grinded it down, we got a little hole right there. So we need to do that. We need to cut this down to size with the hood so it doesn't look ignorant as hell, like a rhinoceros horn. But I don't know. I think we made some pretty good progress today. I'm pretty happy with it. The wiring harness is all plugged in and ready to go. And um, I mean, tomorrow we just have to throw some axles in and throw some wheels on it. We can actually get it out of the shop. And then we can start to turbo the rice and Miata. My goal was just to get this engine in and get um, it as a roller for now so we can bring the rice Miata in, put it on the lift and actually start to turbo that thing because I wanna go to the compound, I wanna slay some tires. All of the parts of the B20 is gonna be on the website tonight so if you guys want anything from that, definitely go down in the description below. But that is gonna be it for this video guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, open your mouth. Oh, oh, oh my God.